Hi people, today we're going to be looking at the single cog electric bike kit which is 250 watt motor which runs off a 24 volt, volt battery so you can just put two lead acid batteries together. Uh, we're doing a new video because this is a slightly different kit to the old one. It fits to the bike exactly the same but I just wanted to show what's in the box. Uh, it's pretty much the same as uh, all the others really but here we go. So when you open the box you'll find your controller. So that's uh, what's technically known as the gubbins that puts everything together and makes it work. All the, um, the little boxes are clearly indicated. Some of them you don't have to use, uh, but the others um, are indicated on there exactly what you need to do with them. So we've got that. In fact, I'll move the box out of the way and I can line things up here as we go along. And we've also got here um, a key. So that will fit in there with two keys in it and a lock. So you've got that, it's almost like an ignition that um, you're starting, not starting the motor up with, but turning it on. You have the chain, which is the extra chain that goes next to your existing chain. Remember this one is for the single cog. And this one comes with a charger as well, which is great, because the other one didn't have a charger, you have to pay extra for it. But in this kit you also get a charger, and it is a European plug, because we send this all over Europe. And we can only get the one type, we've got the European plug, so you will need to get yourself an adapter. You also have a little on-off button and a lamp, uh, which also shows the amount of power that's coming out of your batteries. We have the second cog. So in here, you've got a freewheel cog, and you'll need this to put next to your existing cog. On your single cog bike um, to fit the extra motor. We have brakes and these are different to your normal brakes because they're also wired up and these wire into the uh, control box so when you press the brake then obviously it'll switch the motor off so they're not fighting against each other. So you've got the brakes as well, you have the accelerator and a normal grip Again, just clip straight into your connector box. We have a little bag of uh, connectors. Uh, some people are asking uh, which way the connectors go on these. Most of them are very obvious. The one that goes to the motor um, can be reversed if you want the motor to go the other way. So you can have it going forwards or backwards depending on the application, what you're using it for. So you need to test which way your motor goes when you connect it up. We have the bag of connectors, and then we have, this is a charge port, so there's no really need to open it, it's just a little, I'm going then, I will actually, I'll open it and then you can see exactly what's inside. If I open it with a sounding knife, might not cut the wires, and there it is, so there's a little charge port. On the one I've made, in one of the other videos, you may see that I've fitted this into um, a box that goes on the back rack of a bike, and that just fits in there nicely into the wood, so you can plug it straight in there, and the batteries are in the back box as well. I'll show you that on another video. I think it's already on another video, actually. So we have that, the charge port. I'll wrap that up again later, put a bit of tape around it, so it's good to go. Fitting kit. This is for the bracket. And the motor, here is the bracket which fits on the back wheel of the bike. So this goes in where your back wheel would go, just slides in there, then the motor bolts and this bolts to the Y section of the frame. So it's a very simple bolt on and this can be adjusted um, depending on the exact angle of the frame. And you can um, just fit one side to it and it'll hold it really well. Uh, you could possibly put an extension there if it was a very strange frame. But it'll fit, you can, or you can adapt it to fit nearly all bike frames as long as it's got the, the little Y section at the back and that's to help put it together there. Uh, now this little bit here, which I'll open up and show you, again you'll see this on the uh, fitting kit and on the other videos. Now this is the cog adapter, so when you get the kit you'll have this. Now this one has got two in. Um, you only need one. There's a lot of these kits come with two. The last ones we had only had one. Uh, this kit's come with two. You really only need to use one and it'll fit in there. And all this does 
it's fit into the cog. So you've got your existing cog on your bike, that's on there, and you screw this one in, that goes next to it, and then you screw your other cog on there, and it'll grip. Keep them gripping through the plastic look. Yeah, you have to be really careful that you don't cross-thread them, but this one is a much better thread than the other one we had on the last one, because we had a lot of people cross-threading them and sending them back, said I've made a mistake, can I get a new one? Uh, we didn't have that many spurs, uh, so you, I mean you can buy them from bike shops, but it's, it's just better if you're careful in the first place. But this is a much better quality cog than the other one. So you've got two connectors there. If you can fit them both on your back axle, great. If not, one's, one should be okay. And, oh, we have got the spur axle as well. Now you can use your existing axle on your bike. There's no need to take everything off. Um, and I've found the existing axle works well, but if you do want to extend it, if you have got a wide back axle, then you can put that one on and you've got an extra little bit of space to put your two cogs on. But um, I found that I don't need to use that when I was doing my own. And of course we've got the motor. So let's open this up a little bit and then you can have a proper look. Again, if you're using your Stanley knife to um, cut these out, do be very careful um, that you don't cut any wires. Sometimes you're better just fighting with it and uh, pulling it off. Oh, the video is rolling around everywhere now. Right, with this a minute, get this off, and then you'll see exactly what the motor looks like. So this is from a different company we uh, bought the last kits from, and the, this particular company specialises in motors. There's nothing else but motors, and it's a really good quality. You can feel the weight on it uh, on the electric motor. There we have it, and this obviously gets your chain. We'll go on there. And then you remove your three bolts and clip it to your axis, to your mount and then to your frame. Whoop, there we go. So it's on there and that's how it will fit on. And the three bolts to hold it on are already in place. So it's very, very straightforward to fit. There's full fitting instructions on the website, which is www.eurocarts.com. And it's also a little bit cheaper if you buy it direct from us, um, but it's also available on eBay. Um, if you want more than one, if you're a trade, then we can do a deal on them. Uh, there's not a huge amount of lot because we're not making that much on them. We're selling them for quite a good price. And these are on eBay, I think they're on eBay, £85 plus uh, postage. And we get them out to you as soon as possible. When you get it, make sure everything's in the box. We check them all before they go out anyway. And that's it. There's your single cog e-bike kit. If you have any questions, please feel free to get on the website and um, get in touch. We also have, uh, that we're going to look at next, another in the box section, a new kit that will fit on geared bikes. So if you have a gear set at the back, we have a new kit that will fit that one much easier. A lot of people were putting these on and bodging them and moving them around to the other side. It's quite technical stuff. Uh, but people are managing it with a single kit, but we have got a new kit that will fit straight onto a geared bike, so check that out in a little while. Thanks for watching.